Hey, what's going on guys? John the Video Guy here. And in today's video, I'm gonna cover the topic about video compression. How do you make a video smaller if you need it to go on a certain drive or somewhere where there's a file you know, size limit? How can you make a video smaller? And there's a lot of different things that go into video compression and size. And I kinda wanna explain each of the major parts. That way you can decide what parts you wanna decrease to get the file size down so that you can put it where it needs to be. But before we get started, feel free to hit that like button. It really helps my channel out. And with that, let's get started. So there's four different ways that, main ways that really impact a video uh, file size. And they are codec, resolution, frame rate, and bit rate. Each of these impact how big the video file is. And I'm gonna cover each one individually and go over the do's and don'ts as you try to make your video smaller. Let's talk about video codecs first. And this is pretty much one of the major ones. And codecs and formats, it can get a little bit confusing. So before we get started, I wanted to kind of talk about formats and codecs because they are a little bit confusing. You know, what's the difference between an MP4 and H.264? And let's start at the very beginning. So video codecs and video formats, you can kind of think of like as a candy bar. So in the, using this analogy, you can kind of think of formats as the wrapper for the candy bar. And you can kind of think of video codecs as what's actually inside the wrapper. So formats are actually the container that contains the video file. And the codec is the data or the information that is inside the video, or in this case, the candy bar. And if you use Premiere Pro, this can kind of be quite confusing because if you go to the export settings, it says format H.264, which is actually wrong. The format is actually the codec. So these are all codecs. H.264, MPEG-2, MPEG-4. Those are all specific codecs. And if you look at output name .mp4, the actual file extension is the container or the format. So it can be a little confusing there, but if you're actually in DaVinci Resolve, it's quite easy to understand this because if you go over there, you can see format is QuickTime and codec is H.264. Like for example, H.264, that specific codec could also be for MP4, and different other codecs, or sorry, formats as well. So you can see different codecs can be in different wrappers. So like going back to the candy example, a chocolate covered peanut butter candy bar could be a Snickers, could be a Baby Ruth, it could be any type of wrapper. Now I'm gonna go over different formats and codecs actually later in this video. So be sure to stick to the very end to see my best preferences, different codecs and formats I use on a regular basis as a video editor. But when you're looking to actually compress a video file and make it smaller, the thing that you need to look for is lossy codecs. So these are codecs that kind of compress information and data gets lost uh, while using this codec because it's compressing the data and ex uh, excluding data that isn't included. And one of the best examples of this is the H.264 codec. It's a lossy codec, but it still has a lot of decent quality in it. You're not going to lose a lot of data, but it's enough to actually use like on YouTube and different areas. And it's overall a good balance between uh, quality and file size. So you have to look at it that way. More compressed codecs are going to really compress your footage and they're not going to look as nice. And larger codecs such as like Apple ProRes is going to be a much larger file size. So if you have, say, an MOV file and it's quite large, it uses Apple ProRes, you might want to maybe consider uh, converting it or encoding it into an MP4 where it has the H.264 codec. So next, let's talk about resolution. This is another big area where you can uh, decrease the file size of a video. So for example, there's 4K, high definition, full high definition, standard definition. And obviously 4K videos or full high definition videos are gonna be the largest video formats out there. You even hear of 6K and 8K, the larger the video resolution is, the larger the file, because it's more pixels per frame of the video where when it's smaller resolution, there's less pixels per frame. 
So, you know, obviously if it's acceptable, decrease the resolution for your final video if you want to decrease the file size. Sometimes this isn't an option, so just keep this in mind. You know, sometimes the final deliverable has to be high definition or 4K, but if you have leeway, the lower the resolution, the lower the file size will be. So frame rates are also another area where if you shoot in a high frame rate, such as 60 or 120, you can decrease that and that will decrease the file size of the video. I wouldn't go lower than 24 frames per second because that is actually the point where people can actually realize, oh, there's frames missing. Our eyes naturally see 24 frames a second. So you can kind of think of that as a baseline. I wouldn't dip under 24, but say if you're shooting at 60 or 120, downgrading it to 24 will save some file size for you. All right, so the next topic is bitrate. And this is kind of a confusing topic, you know, talking about bitrate. It's a little out there and I've made a, actually another video on bitrate. So I'll link that down in the video description if you want to learn more about bitrate. But what you really need to know about video compression when it comes to bitrate is the lower the bitrate, the lower the file size of the final video will be. So I'm inside Premiere Pro here and when exporting this file, if we scroll down, under bitrate settings, we have VBR and CBR. And if you really need to control the final file size, say if it has to be under, say, 20 megabytes in this example, what you can do is go to constant bitrate. Because what variable does, it varies the bitrate here and there, you know, at certain points of the video, it might be higher and lower. But if you have CBR turned on, it will be constant through the whole video. And by doing simple math, you can figure out what the bitrate needs to be in order to be under a specific file size. So using CBR here, we can actually decrease the bitrate and say if you need the file size to be 20, you can just keep decreasing it until it's there. So right now I'm at 3.76 megabytes per second for the bitrate and that will make my file size 20 megabytes. So there you have it. You can decrease the bitrate to decrease the file size of the video. Now, obviously, when you decrease the bitrate, you're taking away more data from the video, so it might not look as high quality, but you save file size space. Now, if you're in DaVinci Resolve, how to do this is you scroll down under quality, uh, you'll notice there's automatic and restrict to. We'll want to go to restrict to and in DaVinci Resolve, they change it to kilobits, but you know, just do use your simple math here and you can uh, move the decimal third grade math, thought we'd never use it. But, you know, convert from kilobytes to megabytes and you can figure out the math pretty simply. You can go in here and type in, say, 10,000 kilobytes per second. That would be 10 megabytes. So, you know, you can do the math and figure out what you need to restrict it to. All right, so those are the four main areas that you can edit to change how to make a video file size smaller. Now let's talk about video formats and codecs. So for a final deliverable, I've already talked about it, but I usually use the H.264 codec. It's pretty much a universal codec and it's pretty decent quality. You can also use H.265, but it's not as supported on web and different platforms yet. For final deliverables, the container I usually use is MP4s. Now let's talk about video formats and codecs while editing. For me personally, I love the Apple ProRes codec. I usually edit in Apple ProRes 4222, 422, and um, it's a pretty decent high quality. I don't really lose a lot of data using this type of video codec. If you need a higher uh, version of Apple ProRes, there's 4444, and I think there's 444XQ or XR. There's really high quality video codecs in the Apple ProRes family. What's nice, even though it's made by Apple, you can use it on the PC. I'll link a link down in the video description below if you want to download the codec for Windows. You're more than welcome to check that out and install it. It's a really efficient codec and you're going to get a really nice quality video while you're editing it. What's also nice about the Apple ProRes format is that you can also include an alpha channel, especially for the Apple ProRes 444 codec. They also have some nice options to downgrade and scale uh, the video size down. So there's things such as light and proxy that you can choose as a codec option if you need a certain video 
to be smaller in size. So as you can see, ProRes offers a lot of different ranges when it comes to managing file size. So those are my recommendations. I hope this video has helped you if you're looking to learn more about video compression and how to limit the size of videos. So feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like these videos, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.